morning. Good morning. We, well, it is still morning, right? It is. <laughs> We're heading out really late today. It's only 10 45. We were supposed to leave at like seven o'clock in the morning. <laughs> but anyway, today we are going out to Saitama Prefecture to Tokorozawa, which is the area that inspired Miyazaki to make My Neighbor Totoro. So they have a section there called Totoro no Mori, which means Totoro's forest. And not far from there is a old house that was used uh, as a tea production facility and they have converted it to be the headquarters of the Totoro Fund which um, preserves and maintains the F Totoro Forest. So um, they have a couple Ghibli themed displays there. It's free to enter but you should leave a donation. Today is the sunniest day since we've been here. Yeah. I'm By squinting far. and my eyes are dripping right now. Um, yesterday was the rainiest day and today's the sunniest day. Yeah, so, and that's how weather goes. After the rain is done, the sun comes out. It's about 20 degrees again, pretty nice. Yeah. Probably shorts weather, but maybe not. Since we're like, not gonna be in the city anymore. Jeez. Yeah. It might be cold in the forest, with the forest spirits. <laughs> I doubt it. The next station is Ikebukuro, JY-13. Please change your score, the Shodan Shinjuku Line, the Saikyo Line, the Shodan Shoujo Line, the Seibu Ikebukuro Line, the Marutoshi Subway Line, the Yurakyo Subway Line, and the Kutoshi Subway Line. Okay, we made it to Ikebukuro Station, and from here we need to transfer to the Tokyo Metro, and then take the Fukutoshin Line out to Kotosashi Station, then transfer to a bus, and ride that for about 10 minutes, and then walk 3 minutes to the Kurosuke House. Here's a little tip for you. When you rush down onto the train platform, don't get on the train if it's not the train you're not supposed to be taking. If you're searching on Google Maps, that it will give you a time. Sometimes local and rapid trains go on the same line. You might want a local train and a rapid train comes in and if you get on that one, you're gonna miss your stop. It won't stop at your stop. So wait for the time that Google Maps says you're supposed to be taking it. We're not getting on this train.
Finally. We will soon arrive at Potesashi. This is the last stop of this train. Thank you for using the safety line. There's the mini stop. When you see that on your right hand side, press the stop request button. Here's the Dainichido bus stop right here. So these are the kanji to look for, Dai Nichi Do, and that's the information, should you need it, the timings, blah 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 blah, and a little map. And we're going to go this way. There's a little sign here that tells you you are on the right way, just for reference. That's the bus stop we just came from. We just crossed the street and this is the first little street. I'm going to walk in here. The houses in this area are really cute. We are in Saitama now. We aren't in Tokyo anymore. 
And I noticed properties are much bigger, much more yard. Cars come and go, and streets are very narrow. So these mirrors here are for you to check if there is a car coming. One of these houses is supposed to have a tree cut in the shape of Totoro that people stop and take pictures of. I don't know where it is, so I'm not really gonna go looking for it. I believe this is tea. Let's go look. So this is a little tea cafe. And they have a sign in English that says you're welcome. Looks like they have dongo. So this is the sign that says Kuroske's house. And Kuroske are the little soot sprites. You can see we have two right here. So anybody who wants to learn how to read, ku ro su ke no ie. So no is like apostrophe us, and ie means home. Let's go. Yay, There's the man himself. Oh, they've got more stuff in here. Oh, this is a kuda. So this is an old storehouse. I said before this used to be a tea plantation, like way, way back. So they're merchants, and merchants were the rich people, or the well-to-do, had money, more money than their neighbors anyway. They would have put their valuables in here. And see the tiered windows? That's because fire was a big problem. So they would store their valuables in here, and then if there was a fire in the area, they would close those up, and they're fireproof. Like, flames aren't gonna get in. And it's also temperature controlled, so if it was like a really, really humid summer, or a really wet winter, they could close them up, and their valuables would stay protected. So we've got this little sign over here. It says, Konnichiwa. And then it obviously says a bunch of other stuff that I can't read. Look how cute. Oh, look at my husband. He's on top of things. We have a little Inari shrine over here, too. and some mosquitoes. Hello. This would have been where they lived. There's an upper floor as well. Let's check it out. Look at she. I'm so happy. He's so big. Said, don't touch.
Yeah. You can buy some artwork here, support the fund. This diorama shows the Chotaro forests. There's walking trails, so that's what all these numbers are. So we're gonna walk to some of these afterwards. Oh, look at little Dongari, painted like Chotaro. I believe this is where you put your donations in here. Look at all the kudos things. In one of the corners, I'm not sure where, but there's supposed to be some kudos gay. I'm gonna go find them. Kind of like coming into Mansatsky's attic, but not as scary. They're saying on the website too that part of the reason they use this house is because it's similar style, similar age. That's an example of the area. Let's take a look at the back door. There's a little picnic spot. I'm not that job.
don't want to miss the inside of the Cuda. Watch your step. There's a whole bunch of miniatures in here. They show little segments of the forest. So this is Maureen 1, Maureen's Forest, and that's Maureen 2. Those are the two maps what we got. You can buy them for 100 yen. So we're going to check out probably number 1, I think, because it's closest to here. And also it has those stairs, and that's like iconic of the Toto and Nomori. But the best part is this model of Mayansatsuki's house. I love this so much. So in the movie, like, when Catbus, like, runs across the power lines and they're dragging the pond for potentially drowned May. Sorry, I'm being eaten alive by mosquitoes right now. When they move in, that's the walk up to the house, through the trees, and then the house itself. Sorry, I'm being bitten. And that's where they planted the tree. See back here, the door to the kitchen. This would be Toto's tree. And then look at this. Underneath Toto's tree is sleeping Toto. Oh, that's Kurosuke's house. That was actually much cooler than I was expecting. I didn't know anything about it. I didn't even know where we were going, but um, it was actually really, really, really cool. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. I like that the Totoro Fund merchandise that you can buy inside is really cheap. Goes to support the, goes to support the yeah. forest, to protect the forest, but is also really like, what's the word I'm looking for? Less expensive than mm, Ghibli stores. I don't want to say cheaply, but uh, it's expensive. Okay. <laughs> The only downside to this excursion is that we have been attacked by mosquitoes. Lots of mosquitoes. So there's many like mosquito everywhere. bites. Because um, the whole house is open, so there's no protection. They're just, you know, roaming freely in there. Also, my little beetle friend, I <laughs> helped him up. Five seconds later, he was back on his back again. <laughs> I don't think he's going to make it, guys. I tried. I broke my policy of non-interference, <laughs> and I flipped him over. But it didn't seem to do any good. You have a <laughs> policy of non-interference? It's like prime directive? Sort of. Okay. It's um, like, like a Taoist approach to life. Mm. Gotcha. <laughs> anyway, um, I think it's actually worth coming all the way out to Saitama. Yes, two subways, or yeah. a train, a subway, and, oh, depending where you are, but a yeah. bus. Starting from Ikebukuro, um, I think it was one more train, mm. and then a bus. Bus. Yeah. yeah. So it wasn't too bad. It's kind of cool to see a smaller town. Yeah, and Anyways. I liked walking through the neighborhood as mm. well. Seeing the, the houses around here, they're very spacious and quite nice. Yep. And uh, now we're going to go check out Totoro no Mori. 
Totoro's Forest. We made it to Totoro's forest. Uh, it was an ordeal to get here. Google Maps took us on like this route. We had to go down this really steep hill with cars coming in both directions, a lot of traffic, and about six inches on either side. That was really dangerous. <laughs> um, I don't recommend that. If you're driving here, that's fine. Um, otherwise, find a different route. Don't do what Google Maps does. Because, yeah, I don't recommend that. Also, you had a good point. The paths are really uh, sludgy and muddy because of the rain. Uh, then the day before, we had a, almost the whole day of rain. So yeah. if you have it planned to come here, maybe come have a, a day of like no rain and then come. Yeah, and maybe don't come a couple weeks after a typhoon. <laughs> yeah, it's um, sludgy to say the least. You need a walking stick. Yeah. Also, one other thing to note, the mosquitoes were bad at the Kuroske house, but here, there are spiders everywhere. There's one right above our head. Oh no! Sorry. Not right above our head, <laughs> like <laughs> over there. Uh, yeah, they're about this big, and the webs are huge, so like he has, maybe pick up a stick and kind of like swirl it in the air so you don't get surprised. Okay. But it's really pretty here, don't you think? Oh, um, this is the entrance to trail one. We're not going in because it's getting dark and the spiders and the treachery and all that kind of thing. So um, this is as close as we're going, but from what we see, it's very nice. Maybe come in the summertime, bring some bug repellent. All right, that's all we've got for today's adventure. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Matajikai.